Hi friends, welcome to my first installment of Conversations from the Road. I'm gonna do these every so often because I think everyone has a story to share. As I have conversations with people, I'm gonna do them in public settings like the one I'm about to show you and in a more intimate settings as well. My first installment comes from the Marshall County Blueberry Festival in Plymouth, Indiana over Labor Day weekend. I met Robert Borden, who's with the Indiana Fallen Heroes. And I'm gonna let him share with you uh, his story and all about that in a moment. But I hope you enjoy these and I hope that you are inspired like I was by Robert and what he's doing with the Indiana Fallen Heroes. Thank you so much for watching. So we're starting, this, this is Robert Borton. I forgot to start the video. Now, you, now you, you were telling me how it started. It was from a teacher. A, from a teacher from Boone Grove, Indiana, gave it to his class as an assignment to look for soldiers that were killed in action. They found 139 men and women. Mm. And as of today, Indiana has just over 500 men and women. And as, a, and as us, as an organization, as the Indiana Fallen Herald, we only have 340 placards of the men and women in the past. One of our deepest, or one of our major concerns is trying to find these men and women's families to get the information and their pictures so we can honor them. Because we never want to forget them because they have given the ultimate sacrifice for their country. And we go throughout the state of Indiana, we do parades, we do festivals. You know, if you want to get a hold of us, find us on uh, Facebook, Indiana Fallen Heroes, like us, message us, and we'll get you the info. Give us the information, we'll do our best. We start doing our planning in January, February, because uh, in one year we can do anywhere between 20 to 30 events. And that's how popular unfortunately that we are. But we, uh, our board of directors are made up with three families that are Gold Star families. And if you don't know what a Gold Star family is, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry, I'm not, a, I'm not a Gold Star family, I'm a veteran. But these Gold Star families are the ones that have lost the loved one. A brother, sister, mother, aunt, uncle, husband, grandfather, grandmother, and we want to honor them and remember them. These men and women, they are coming home as heroes today. So if you see a veteran, thank them. If you see a Vietnam veteran, especially them, because they were not treated good when they came home, say welcome home and thank you. It means the heart. I'm a person, uh, every veteran I see, I thank them. If it's a Vietnam veteran, I tell them, welcome home. Um, there's a, there may be one or two videos of me. I'm not trying to brag on myself, but when we do these parades, I honor, I look, I go through a parade, I look for veterans. I walk up to them, I thank them, and I salute them for their service. Because it's a, like I said, I've done four years, and I've, and I love it. I wish I could do it again, but physical ability beings won't let me, wouldn't let me do my 20 years like I wanted to. I'd do it all over. And we just gotta keep praying for this nation and the families that have lost loved ones and our military that are serving right now. And we, sh we should never forget. And that's why I, I hope you folks don't mind me asking them to come up because I wanted to share this with you, I know they had to leave and that some of you may not get to see, but this is one of the placards and we'll hold that up. And uh, Jeffrey A. McLaughlin, National Guard, Sergeant Major, 45 Rochester, Indiana, right? Yes. And um, we just should never forget any of these faces for what they've done uh, in uh, service to our country and for our country and for us. And Robert, thank you for all that you're doing. And if, if you want to help them out, they don't have anything set up yet other than taking uh, donations. 
And I know he'd be glad if you want to stop him over there uh, while I'm singing this song. I want to share a song of thanks to you as a veteran and, and to our heroes as well and our active military. And uh, I'd like to share that now. And, and thank you for sharing all that you do and for what you do to keep all these heroes in our memories forever. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.